So the Infinix Note 35G and the Itel X23 Plus are two smartphones that promises value for money in the budget-friendly zone, especially if you're gearing up to 150 to 200k for a smartphone this season. Now that the dollar is racing its way to reaching 2,000 naira to a dollar, there is still some hope for someone out there who wants to get a smartphone. Here are two picked smartphones to be compared in all aspects in this video, so you can decide which one you want to buy, which one is the best for you at the end of this video. And also, I did share some tips and tricks of the Itel X23 Plus in my previous video and also unboxing and initial impressions of both smartphones. So if you haven't seen that video, the link will be included in this video description or the link is somewhere showing around your screen right now. And if you're always here but you haven't subscribed to my channel, please support your boy. Can you hit on that subscribe button? It's totally free. It's just a click away. Thank you very much. So first, starting with their prices and design, the S23 Plus is the new kit on the block. With the Curved AMOLED display, it goes for $200 or 150,000 in Naira currently. And then the Infinix Note 35G is just a few months old now. With the 108 megapixels camera, it goes for 300 US dollars or a 230 thousand in naira and in terms of design they both flaunt a sleek and modern design made for all classes and also they easily fit into your hand their curved edges and glossy finish gives them a premium look and feel they are both plastic built and look almost identical in terms of color how they reflect the light but difference in camera placement and also in weight the s23 plus is lightweight compared to the note 35g making it available for two classes of people so if you like it lightweight, you know, and you like it heavy, it's your choice. Coming to the display, both smartphones offer immersive viewing experiences. They both have this fluid response to touches and navigating through apps wasn't lagging behind at all. Thanks to the 120Hz screen refresh on the Note 35G and the curved AMOLED panel on the S23 Plus. But when it comes to color reproduction, I'll go with the Itel S23 Plus. It's vibrant and also detailed. That's because the AMOLED screen here is not a joke. It is actually a curved AMOLED display. And then you have the IPS LCD on the Note 35G. But you barely spot the difference in their display, except on a careful examination. They are both 1080p resolutions. Same screen size of a 6.78 inches with very good colors. And a poncho cutout for their selfie camera. So whatever it is you want on a smartphone display, these two displays are equal to the task. Whether it's watching YouTube videos or browsing the internet, and then you have the on-screen fingerprint unlock on the Itel S23 Plus. It unlocks okay and fine, but compared to the side mounted of the Note 35G, they both unlock at the same speed. And then you have the USB-C connectivity underneath both smartphones with the speaker grill and the microphone, but no earphone port on the S23 Plus. Rather, you have a SIM card tray underneath, and then you have it on the left side of the Note 35G. And then moving on to performance, they are both budget processors, but different power. You have the Dimensity 6080 processor on the Note 35G, and then you have the Uni SoC T616 on the Itel S23 Plus. Now, the major difference between these two processors is the Infinix Note 35G, the processor here is really big on gaming. That is, you can play high graphic games without lags over a long period of time on the Infinix Note 35G. And then on the Itel S23 Plus, it is really big on image processing. Of course, you can play games on both smartphones, but if your priority is to get a gaming smartphone on a budget, then the Infinix Note 35G is calling you. And also they are both good at multitasking without any lags. You have a standard four gigs of RAM that you can expand up to eight on the Infinix Note 35G. And then an 8 gigs of RAM that you can expand up to 16 on the Itel S23 Plus. And a larger storage of 256 gig over the 128 gig of the Note 30. And then a 5000 mAh battery on both smartphones. And they both support fast charging. So guys, in my experience, charging the Infinix Note 30 took about 20 minutes to charge from 0 to 100%. But on the Itel S23 Plus, it took more than 20 minutes to charge. Now that depends on the charger you're going to be using to charge the S23 Plus because mine didn't come with the charger. And at the same time, please be careful the charger you use to charge 
your Itel S23 Plus. And then finally, the camera and the picture qualities. Now, both smartphones, the Itel S23 Plus and the Infinix Note 35G have very, very interesting offerings. It is more like the 108 megapixels of the Note 35G versus the 50 megapixels of the Itel S23 Plus. Of course, they do have extra camera lenses behind, but personally, I think it's just to keep up with the trendy design unless you have a dedicated camera lens that actually functions. But when it comes to picture qualities, this is what both smartphones bring to the table. Daylight pictures looks good on both smartphones. High dynamic range is present on both images, even in portrait images too. It feels better on the Itel S23 Plus when it comes to low light or indoor footage. And then when you expose to the sun, the note struggles to give accurate colors. But the Itel gives a reasonable detail. Same results with your selfie camera. Color looks fine on the Infinix Note. And then the Itel has the artificial intelligence doing everything here. But it is fine, especially for social media postings. So guys, what do you think? I think the artificial intelligence is doing a lot of job on the Itel S23 Plus. I mean, you can see the color of the sky. Uh, of course, high dynamic range is present on both smartphones. But I think the image on the Itel S23 Plus is quite very very okay so guys this is what you get shooting a video with the front facing camera of the infinix note 35g that is 16 megapixels and the 32 megapixels front facing camera of the itel s23 plus so guys what do you think of the picture quality from both smartphones see guys both smartphone offers impressive features and also stunning design and great value for your hard-earned money especially the s23 plus that comes with extra features like the dynamic bar that adds more flavor to the smartphone and then you have the chat gpt embedded here with the name iviana so you can easily flex with your smartphone i mean you can't find these flavors on the infinix note 35g okay you have folax that is the infinix ai assistant maybe i should compare both of them but if you're looking for a compact smartphone with decent performance a very good camera setup and also a long lasting battery life these two smartphones the infinix the 35g and the itel s23 plus are very good options but it all comes down to your priorities and most importantly your budget so i would advise that you weigh down all of your options and then make a very good choice so what do you guys think which smartphone does it for you the Infinix Note 35G or the Itel S23 Plus. Please drop your plenty comments. Drop your plenty, plenty comments. And also, as you're dropping your plenty comments, please be subscribing as well if you're new to the channel and you haven't done that. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.